Welcome back to FusioCraft, and oh boy, I'm excited about one thing in particular. Wookie Wookie here. We have already completely sold out on all of the <laughs> gunpowder that we put in here. So already, this is my first ever shop and boom, it, it, it's booming. So I am going to really need to stock more gunpowder. I spent a little bit of time earlier today going around and lighting up more caves around my area, trying to make that far more efficient. It looks to me like I'm, I'm not I'm not generating enough to keep up with the demand here. I, this is all I'm able to restock. I'm hoping other people like set up like shops and farms and stuff because, you know, there's 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 no point collecting all these diamonds if I can't actually, you know, like spend them. Maybe maybe two over here. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> Mike jump scare. Hey, yo. What? What? Th thank you, kind stranger. What? What is this for? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Dude's been building the Muppet, the Muppet Theater. This is going to be the Muppet Theater, ladies and gentlemen, with the more mob heads plugin that we've got. I'm, I'm anticipating one day he's going to call me over to kill him and he's just, and his skin is Kermit the Frog. The Cower mod is actually kind of causing problems now. Not only is it trapping some of my turtles, it, it trapped a bee. One of my bees is in there now. Maybe that that's the, the Minecraft version of a stream donation. Oh. 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 This is just the Minecraft version of stream donations. Thank you for the cinnamon roll. So Mike has villagers now, and this is Gordon in his milk bar, and he 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 always faces this way. So we just made him stare at art. He's just appreciating art now. Gordon's creature. <laughs> oh no. Yes. Yes. Let's milk the creature. I mean, at least the creature also has artwork to look at. Yeah. You know, honestly, this is a little big. This is a little big for an inn room. If anything, I'm giving these people too much luxury, too much comfort. That should be the motto of this place. Too much luxury, too much comfort. Yeah, get naked. My favorite hermits, Corrales, Grian, Scar, Tomba, and Doc. Die. 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 There we go. I should put a record store in that town. And in that record store, not only will I have all the like the music discs possibly for sale if I have some sort of like music disc farm, but then I can also put all these like album cover banners all up on the walls and that's going to look awesome. Oh, the best part is I could make an Among Us of every color. Here he comes. Give him his, give him his feet. I'm unintentionally making a gay flag out of a bunch of imposters. This is amazing. This is amazing. Imposter pride. See, this is why FusioCraft is awesome. We we have imposter pride. The Kanye Pete Davidson disc. Oh, oh, that's Kanye. I know that God saved me from that crash so I can beat Pete Davidson's ass. <laughs> that's so good. That's Bro, so he's good. actually going to kill Pete Davidson. Like, it's not a meme. Like, he's going to like hire a hit out for Pete Davidson. I should go to everyone's base and hide one of these imposter banners in it. And so. they're be like, what the hell is this? <laughs> what the hell is this? You've been impostered. All I'm gonna say. You just got impostered. Boy, 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 boy. Go down the hole and see what you, you find down there. <laughs> <gasps> I need to build a water tower. Get naked. The pissing imposter is still there. All of you, all of you get naked. Right now, this is not- it Sounds like a freaking Morty skit. <laughs> How? <laughs> get naked right now. What makes it Rick and Morty though? Like, it, is it- Sounds like something that they would say on Rick and Morty. W would Rick say it? W yeah, he'd be like, okay, you two, get fucking naked. What do you have against penis? A lot of things, a lot of things. I hate penis! I hate penis! I hate pe <laughs> When you're in the closet. I hate penis! I hate <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all of you! 
Fuck every Jeff. country on earth. Fuck. Fuck every world leader. I just got fucking Jeff. Stopped by Mike's place, and the Muppet Theater is coming along. Really glad I made this suggestion. This is this is turning out like this is perfect. This is awesome. This is like here. Let me let me go down the street here. See the view. The tree is a little bit in the way, but oh man, that that is a that is a good thing to come down here and see. Dude loves his art. Yeah. He literally will not stop looking at it. We are quite literally milking this joke to death. He's just standing there, menacingly. So yesterday on stream, I decided that this is going to be a record store. Through my music disc obtaining grind, I have been getting a bunch of duplicate music discs. So, you know, why not use them for, for a record store? It's it's a perfect shop idea. People can come here and buy some, some music discs. I've been gathering the materials all morning, and now I just got to place them all down. So these copper blocks are all supposed to be fully oxidized, but... Rather than having them all sit out and wait, I think I'm just going to let this one naturally happen over time. Letting these babies age the way that, that Mojang intended. Oh, oh, we got our first natural aging. I got the building mostly done now. The copper obviously still has to oxidize. And I need to put more lettering up here. But right on inside, we got this giant painting of Chirp here. A barrel for every music disc, some of which I still don't have. Using these looms as record bins, a pretty genius move on my part. This is going to be where the cashier goes. I'm still deciding what kind of villager I want for this building. Speaking of, the inn now has a cartographer, which I really do need. Mostly just to get that globe pattern. Don't need you for a woodland mansion that's literally right across the ocean from me. Which I want to go to soon because I can snag a bunch of easy bookshelves that I want to put up here as like a shelf for tape decks or something. You might be thinking this this top area of the room is a little boring, a little plain. That's because I'm going to cover it with a bunch of banners with album covers on them. So here I go starting that process. The first three of many. I hope to just have this entire top section of the record store just covered in, in album covers to the best of my ability of what's possible with banners anyways. So I say it's off to the Woodland Mansion to get some some cheap bookshelves. It's like only two rockets worth of white power two and I'm, and I'm gonna be there. Oh, it's loading in. I haven't properly gone through this place yet. There was the time I found it. There was the time I popped in for a few bookshelves and left out of fear before I was all geared up. But now, I should be pretty good. First of all, what's what's with the obsidian? What's in here? Is this just obsidian? Is there nothing inside? Oh! Oh, score! I either didn't know or completely forgot that there's some some diamond blocks you can get out of these, these places. That's cool. They're so hard to hit, and they keep going through walls. Finally, I got one of them. Stop! I'm so distracted by how annoying they are that I've neglected to realize, like, hey, look, bookshelves. My axe doesn't have silk touch, so I'm awkwardly going to use my pickaxe on these. They do die after a while. Good. Good! Good! We raided one of these things on Poopa Nunu. That was, like, awesome. That was, like, this big event. It was so far away. You're on FusioCraft. It's, it's right across the street. <laughs> Too many men around me. This dude's got crazy haircut. Yeah, it appears as though those are the only bookshelves that I could find. And there we go. This is what we have reaped. I'll manually make the rest and cheat, put an oak plank here because no one's gonna know. The grind for the record store has continued and in that time I have collected one of every music disc that I can get from Creepers. I'm still missing Pig Step in the new one. I think it's called Other Side. So here and there I'm building up my record supply and I'm stocking the record store with it. And in order to create all of the banners that I'm putting inside, I finally made myself a dedicated automatic shearing facility. Getting quite a bit of wool here. So wool is not a problem anymore. I was in a VC with Fuzio last night while I was making this and he pointed out how depressing <laughs> it is. So I'm gonna make this like really gloomy and industrial in here later. Because all those sheep are now down there in my basement, 
I moved the sheep farm out of here and that made me realize like, you know what? I should do some landscaping. I should really work on the area right outside of my house. So here I have built a shack, an old wooden shack for the nether portal. This was always the plan, putting this portal here, that there would be some really old shack on the hillside. And that inspired me to move the sand of the beach up a little bit and then connect up all these paths. So now there's a path from the nether portal to my house and to Cal site cove. I want to further flush out this path and make it look prettier than just, you know, path blocks. But for now, the record store continues to come along. Its oxidizing is still happening very, very slowly. But I have put up quite a few banners of album covers up here now. I was not expecting to make this many this quickly. I just kind of got really carried away last night. A lot of these I designed myself and I'm very proud of them. Like, the seer there and white pony the run the jewel albums look really good together a few of them i got off of google images like bottomless pit there but like let's be real there's there's no way you can perfect bottomless pit more than this like this is perfect this is 100 percent bottomless pit i got the clerk here and i'm still debating on which which job to give him and there's some stock built up of most of the music discs Definitely not a lot, and definitely none of the two I don't have. I'm thinking each of the standard discs I can just charge one diamond, but you know, the pig step and other side are way harder to collect, so that's gonna be pretty pricey. It's been a few days, I've been on that grind as always. I finished decorating this portal shack. I really love how this looks. I massively expanded the sandy beach section of this region next to my house. Ignore all the copper, I'm currently using it to oxidize a bunch. I have a general idea of a statue here in the middle of the park. I'm not fully happy with it, it could have a better stand. I love, I love the crab giving like a huge double thumbs up. But like, this is where you enter town, right? Right? Oh, and I fixed this thing. So, so, it's like the same color as the building right behind it. And I, you know, maybe I should just change the type of block I use, but I don't know. And I love the crab, but other than just being coastal in general, it doesn't really signify anything about this area. I'm workshopping this. I'll come back to you on that. So here I have built a library, still filling it with the bookshelves. That's a bit of a grind. And I'm slowly accumulating all of the different librarians that I'm gonna want. This all started because I needed some silk touch books and at that point I just started building another building out of a necessity, which is good. I'm glad that I keep finding needs and reasons to build these buildings. The record store is mostly oxidized now. It finally looks the way I want it to look. I'm still in the process of filling up these walls. This is definitely something that I'm just gonna do over a long period of time. I think I want this dude to be a shepherd. I mean, it makes sense. Those at, you know, wombs right here. Looking around, the town is mostly here now. I just need a few more buildings, and at least this central square will be complete. There's a few other branch off roads I want to develop a little bit when the time comes, but I think at least as soon as I get this central square complete, I want to focus my attention on some other things. Mike came over to exchange a trident for five glow item frames and some books. And, uh, <laughs> my town's got a pillar now. Oh my gosh, he's reached build height. Build height is so tall now. <laughs> I'm taking a video of it, pal. Oh, I can actually see him up there. So there's a really low horizontal player render distance issue, but it doesn't matter how vertical they are. I need to fly up and see this. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> I'm gonna chill out on top of the inn. you know it's in the episode. All right, I gave him the stuff. Now I'm three out of like five tridents away from the Fusio machine. Oh, I, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not putting, I'm not putting that in the episode. <laughs> Mike is looking for the Among Us banner that I hid. See him. <laughs> 
Oh, he looking. See, I came here to give some of that quartz back, but it should be interesting watching him look around. Oh, it's not even a stream donation. This is just a donation. This is looking nice. This must be that bookstore he was talking about. Muppet theater from the inside so far. Mwahaha. Can't wait to see what this skinny building may end up being. Oh, oh, he's closed. Yes. Yes, it's somewhere. It, oh my gosh, he's like going right to it. Oh, he was so close. He was so close. He was right there. Pondering they doorway. Oh, I admire this man's dedication and passion for the arts. <laughs> no, don't make this his NFT. <laughs> He's so proud. <laughs>Oh my gosh holy shit that was a jump scare <laughs> holy shit i can't i can't sink to a half slab nope that'd be funny <laughs> i am just face planting <laughs> no but it's like you do it sideways when you're against a block part of me really wishes this game was easier in third person because there's so many funny looks that your character has just doing things and maneuvering. This game ain't as funny when all you can see is your hand. You know, in a way, this bell is like the only instrument in the game. <laughs> I'm just saying, imagine if you could craft a piano or something and right clicking it would play random notes like an Animal Crossing. I would love to just have like a music store or a, a dumb band in the game. I wonder if you can see it from a window? Oh my gosh, you literally can. You can see it from a window. Oh my gosh. He's <laughs> literally looking in the inner workings of the redstone. It's this way. It's this way. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, he's so close. Don't go out there. Come on. It's right there. No. No. It's right here. He's so close. I knew that room was kind of an out-of-the-way spot, but I didn't think it would be this hidden. This is a really cool room. By the way, where is Krumi? Oh, 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 he found it. Among us found. That was fun. I wonder if I'm going to get this experience with anyone else logging on. Like, oh, I know you hit an imposter. Where is it? Some of them aren't even hidden. Like Dom's is just down the hallway. That was fun. Let's go home. Okay, Mike has pointed out something genius that you can put uncooked food items on these campfires. And my dock system is mostly made of unlit campfires. So, if I strategically cook them in a certain order, I can get them on any position I want. And I can just have some fish scattered on the docks here. No mods or invisible item frames or anything. I can just, yeah, have some fish strewn about. Bro, I think I just got pranked. Oh my gosh, this actually scared me. <laughs> the meat walk, the meat walk, the meat walk, the meat walk. I mean, yeah, literally all I have to do to get rid of the meat is to simply light the campfires for a while, let all the meat cook. Free food. So over here at Groupers, I've installed some fish racks with this same continuing idea. If I had more space in here, actually... Actually, let me think about this. See, if I had more space, then I would put these on the side. Are you still recording? Yeah, I saw the meat walk hole. Not talking about that. I don't know who did that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who did it either. I feel like I have to unlight these fast because these dudes, they can be suicidal. It, it looks good. It looks good. I guess, I guess I'll put a cauldron here. Whoops. And I'll just... I'll just chill with him only having one sink. He doesn't really need to. This is looking pretty good now, overall. This is this is like the highlight here now. Oh hello, Mike. You want you want some fish? The poop rack. D just what about this looks like poop to you? I wanna see what Hooper's looks like now. Oh perfect, perfect. That's what I originally did. Then I decided to shift it to its own rack. Yeah, this is nice. Barrels up here. Mr. Hooper has the Among Us. There's an imposter in the kitchen. What is this, the, the meat episode? I just saw Thick Thighs Kyle go over here. I don't have your head yet. Oh. <laughs> Pew! 
<laughs> Was that a scare? Oh, now I feel bad. Like I scared him away. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. Hey. On my screen, you're like an Enderman where you keep like warping around. <laughs> oh, that's cool. We start minting Fusiocraft NFTs, but like in game, not in real life. Yeah. <laughs> you, you could actually do that with banners. I hate. Yeah. I could sell the Among Us banners for like a million diamonds. Skinwalker. I haven't finished the Skinwalker area, but I've started it. <laughs> why, did, why didn't I sleep in here? Oh yeah, what was it? I was wondering what that door was when I was building. Like, does that go to a basement layer? Whoa. It's trippy, because like, it's all clearly, you know, Minecraft and shit. But I know exactly what everything was. <laughs> the air yeah. mattress. This is it. <laughs> Each morning it'd be slightly deflated. Hurt my back, <laughs> but it felt nice, I guess. It, it, because I use carpet, it's like accurately deflated. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the build is the kitchen. Yeah, no, it feels really right. Oh, I was thinking about... I, there's there's oh, extra wow. space back here that that wouldn't work with the build. And I'm wondering about I, I, like making a s just secret skinwalker entrance. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I could hide it behind the, you, one of the you paintings. Right over where Tom's left too. I remember being right here, just like spread out, and it was like uh, Dom was like, "While you're here, um, do you mind uh, beating like some <laughs> level in Sonic Mini?" Oh yeah. Times? Can you beat this level for me, big brother? <laughs> Let's see if this works. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> this is the skinwalker entrance. <laughs> the, skinwalker. <laughs> the only reason why we said squid was because of fucking squid game. Squidwalk. <laughs> this is cursed. Of squid, I'll never forgive um fucking Hoshi. Well no, this was this was very sweet of them, but the motherfucker gave me um a packet of like a uh, dried squid. Oh. Because like over text, I I texted them. Um, can I can I get something from the store? And I was like, um, I don't know. I'll, I think I'll have some Squid Games. No, oh, no. And they were like, okay. Yeah, and I was like, wait, I was joking. I, I wanted like Starburst or something. And they're like, you'll see. And I'm like, what? And they gave me a packet of dried squid. Oh my god, that reminds me, the fucking. Group psychosis. <laughs> I was the catalyst for that, for just sending that funny video and everyone fucking lost their mind. <laughs> I remember Tim, like, really going, like, insane after seeing it. <laughs> My original Sounds idea for the nether was to make it like a subway. And I was juggling some other ideas around, but after Chicago, I'm, I think I'm going back to the subway idea. What? Steak in Max's house, not porridge and gravy and peas and, <laughs> and Heinz baked beans. Oh, uh, all the American food we didn't get to try with Max. Fuck. That was, I was so looking forward to that. Uh, that one hurt the most, yeah. Giving him like a loaded corn dog that's double deep fried and seeing him <laughs> shrivel in real time. I can't wait to be on my 30s. I'm just like telling my kid, hey. You're gonna have some fun time with your mom. Um, Dad's gonna go on a business trip, and by business trip, I mean uh, eating ice at late nights with weird people. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god! Imagine a meetup where we just bring our kids, like um, grownups. Oh no, grownups, but worse. A lot of divorce would happen right there. Oh god. <laughs> Dad, Uncle Tim. A bottle of Fanta and laughed really hard. <laughs> you know why? I got all this course dirt. I got this path. Do the path math. I don't know.
good it's so good dude oh my gosh that's gonna do it for this episode thank you for watching <laughs> really love how everything's coming along from this town and its library to this path that i just spent all that time making this is by far my favorite minecraft project i've ever done and i'm so glad i chose to document it on youtube until next time i'll see you all in the next episode of Boozio craft, ooh, ooh, so scary. <laughs>